Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. Today I will discuss list data structure in Python. Objective of this tutorial is to understand the difference between arrays and lists, syntax of list in Python, list traversal. Basically, there are three major differences between lists and array. First, we will see the definition of array. Array in C programming language is a collection of similar typed elements. For example, int a of 3 means a is an integer array with three elements. In this case, 10, 20 and 30 are the elements of a. Another example is float b of 3. b is a floating point array with three elements. In this case, 10.5. 20.5 and 30.0 are the elements. List in Python is a collection of similar or heterogeneous typed elements. This is the first difference between array and list. Array contain a similar typed elements. List can contain similar or heterogeneous typed elements. The syntax to create a list is either we can use the square brackets and list the elements of list within the square bracket or we can use a list function and pass the elements as parameters to it. In the first case, the square brackets are used to create a list. L1 is equivalent to within square bracket 10, 20 and 30 are listed. This means L1 is a list consisting of three elements namely 10, 20 and 30 all three elements are of type integer. In the second case, L2 is created with a square bracket with three elements. The first two elements are integer type and the third one is floating point type. Similarly, L3 contains one integer typed element, one floating point element and two string type elements. The fourth list is created with the help of list function and all the three elements are of type integer. The difference between arrays and lists. The first difference is in arrays we can store only similar typed elements but in lists we can store both similar and heterogeneous typed elements. The second difference is the size of the array is fixed that is once the size of the array is defined it cannot be altered but the size of the list can be altered as the need arises. For example, if I write int a of 3, the size of the array a is fixed to 3. It cannot be altered or it cannot be increased to 4. In the second case, the float b of 3, the meaning of this is the size of array b is 3. It cannot be increased or decreased. The third difference is the list can have a list as an element. Accessing elements of list. The elements of list are accessed using numeric indexes. The index of the list first element always starts at zero. The syntax uses the bracket operator. The expression inside the brackets specify the index. For example, L1 is equivalent to 10, 20, 30. The first element 10 is present at 0th index. The second element present at 1st index and the third element is present at 2nd index. Print L1 of 0 displays the first element that is 10. Similarly, print L1 of 1 displays the element present at 1st index. The element present at first index is 20 so the output in this case is 20 print l1 of 2 displays the element present at second index in this case the element present at second index is 30 rules for using index any integer expression can be used as an index if you try to read or write an element that does not exist you get an index error. If an index has a negative value, it counts backward from the end of the list. 
we see some of the examples first example is print l1 of 1 plus 1 so the first 1 plus 1 is evaluated the value of 1 plus 1 expression is 2 so l1 of 2 will be returned in this case so the l1 of 2 is 30 so the output of this statement is 30 print l1 of minus 1 so minus indexes indicate the it counts backward from the end of the list hence in this case l1 of minus 1 prints 30 l1 of minus 2 prints last but one the element and so on so l1 of 2 is 20 l1 of minus 3 is 10 in this case print l1 of 4 we are trying to access an element present at fourth index if you look at the list l1 there are only three elements present at zeroth index first index and second index there is no element present at fourth index so this statement returns an index error lists are mutable the list the elements of the list can be modified or rearranged as the need arises for example L1 contains three elements 10, 20, and 30. Now, L1 of 1 is equal to 200. In this case, we are trying to modify the value present at the first index to 200. Hence, after executing this statement, the value present at the second index is modified to 200. Sample program to demonstrate the list are mutable is so L1 is equal to 10. 20 30 first we print the list before modification next we modify the elements present at 0th index first index and second index to 50 60 and 80 respectively and after that we print the list after modification so before modification is 10 20 30 after modification 50 60 and 80 print statement can be used to print all the elements so print of l1 prints all the elements at once in operator on list the in operator is used to check whether the queried element is present in the list or not if the element is present then the operator returns true otherwise returns false for example L1 is equal to 10, 20, 30. L1 is a list consisting of three elements. Now, the statements 10 in L1 returns true because 10 is present in L1. The second statement 100 in L1 returns false because 100 is not present in L1. Next, we try to understand how to traverse a list. There are two methods to traverse the list elements in Python. In the first method, we can use the for loop to iterate over the list. In each iteration, one element of the list is written. For example, numbers is a list consisting of three elements, 10, 20, and 50. For ELE in numbers, for loop gets one element from the numbers in each iteration and it is assigned to a variable ELE in this case and then we can print that particular element within the for loop. In each iteration for loop gets one element from the numbers or list and then it will be assigned to variable ELE. This works well if you only need to read the elements of the list but if you want to write or update the elements of the list, we need indices of the list. That is, if you want to modify the element present at 0th index, we need to know the index. If you want to modify the value 20 to 200, we need to know the index of 20. Hence, this method will not work in such cases. In the second method, we can use a range and a length functions to traverse the list elements. For example, numbers is equal to 10, 20, 30, 15. We have created a list numbers with three elements. In this case, we are using a range and length function. 
first we pass the numbers list or the list to this particular length function the length function returns the number of elements present in the list in this case the numbers list contain three elements so the length of numbers returns three now range of three returns the three numbers that is 0 1 and 2 they are nothing but the indexes of the elements present in the list so 0th element is 10 first element is 20 and second element is 50 in each iteration the generated indexes are assigned to i we can use this index to access the array elements or to modify or update the list elements in this case we are printing each element in each iteration the next example shows how to modify the elements present in the list each element in the list is modif multiplied by 2 and then it is displayed so first we create a list L1 with 3 elements before doing modification we display the elements of the list now using range and length function we generate the indexes of the list elements in this case length of l1 is 3 range of 3 is 0 1 and 2 in the first iteration the value of i is 0 in the second iteration the value of i is 1 in the third iteration the value of i is 2 now l1 of i that is l1 of 0 in the first iteration is 10 multiplied by 2 that is 20 the 20 is stored into l1 of i that is l1 of 0 in the second iteration l1 of 1 is 20 20 is multiplied to 2 that is 40 40 is stored into l1 of 2 similarly l1 of 2 is 30 30 into 2 is 60 60 is stored into l1 of 2 after modification we print the values of list so the output before modification is 10 20 30 after modification the list contains 20 40 and 60 now we write a very simple program to find the sum of elements of list using the list traversal method so first we initialize sum is equal to 0 we create a list l1 with three elements in each iteration we get one element from this particular list l1 in the first iteration the value of ELE is 10 second iteration 20 third iteration 30 in the first iteration we add the element 10 to the partial sum sum variable that is the value of sum is 0 in the first iteration 0 plus 10 is 10 the partial sum after the first iteration is 10 in the second iteration the value of ELE is 20 the partial sum till now is 10 10 plus 20 is 30 the partial sum 30 is stored into some variable in the third iteration the value of el is 30 the partial tub sum till now is 30 plus el value of el is 30 30 plus 30 is 60 the value of sum after the third iteration is 60 now traversing an empty list a for, for loop over an empty list never executes the body for example for x in empty we are trying to get one element from an empty list and store into x because an empty list contains no elements nothing will be written and it will come out of the loop without executing the body of that for loop 